How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to talk about what focus stacking is and how to do it. It's super easy. Let's jump into it. Basically, photo stacking is taking multiple photos of the same subject at different focus points to ensure that your photo is perfectly sharp from front all the way back. Now you can also shoot at a higher f-stop like f11 and focus to infinity and all that and get everything in focus, but it won't be nearly as sharp as photo stacking. Now you don't always have to use photo stacking, but it does come in handy if you really want those crisp, sharp photos. So I took a few photos to demonstrate this. Let's jump into Lightroom and take a look at them. Now here's just a basic shot that I took the other day. Nothing special, but I wanted to get a photo that I can photo stack so I can show you guys how to do it in this tutorial. So basically I want everything in focus from here all the way to here. Now if we zoom in at the trees up here, you can see it's kind of blurry, really blurry. And then that's in focus. Basically I took a series of photos each focusing at a different point. So I had one photo focused here, one photo that was focused here, and one photo that was focused up here. Now what you wanna to do to blend them all together is you wanna highlight each of the photos. So I'm gonna hit the first one, shift, and I'm gonna click the third one because I want each of these photos because they're each focused at a different point. Now I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Now it does take a little while because it's got to load in the layers. You'll see it starts doing its thing. Just give it a second, wait until it's done and it's done. Now what we want to do is we want to click on the first layer, hold shift, click the last layer so they're all selected, go to edit, we're going to come down to auto align layers. Just leave it to auto. Hit OK. Now what this is doing is it's basically stacking the photos on top of each other. Because when you focus at different points in your photo, there's a little bit of focus breathing. So you're going to get a little white line similar to this. Now you can come over here to the crop tool and you can crop it out, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Now, with all of these layers selected, we're going to come back up to edit and we're going to go auto blend layers. Now I hit seamless tones and colors, content aware fill transparent areas. I make sure those are selected. I've seen other people do it where they don't have the content aware fill. I've seen it work for them, but for me, I've noticed that it's just better to have that selected. Now stack images, panoramas if you took multiple images and you want to stitch them together, but that's for a different video. So hit stack images, make sure those are selected and just hit okay. Let Photoshop do its thing. Cool. And you can see here in the side that this is all of your layers, that it's used the sharpest areas of your photo to stack on top of each other. And this is the merged. So I'll show you, we'll deselect this and then we'll start deselecting these so you can see what's happening. Kind of cool, eh? And there you go. There's your photo. Perfectly sharp from front to back. So when I hit Command S, it's going to save it. And once that's done saving, it'll be right back in Lightroom. So let's go back to Lightroom. Here's our new photo. Now, since it did a little bit of a weird thing with the content aware fill up here, I'm just going to crop it down just a little bit hit enter and there you go there's your photo perfectly sharp so yeah that's how you photo stack a super helpful tool when you're out in the field if you really want something to be perfectly pristine sharp front to back just remember to photo stack thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video drop a like maybe a sub and i'll see you guys in the next video peace